So welcome to part four, the final um, part of this go-kart build. Um, behind these doors is a completed go-kart. It's ready for its new owner and he's inside the house right now. It's actually his birthday today, so it's the perfect opportunity to um, to basically give him it. He hasn't seen it. Uh, he hasn't seen the the process of building it for the last couple of months so he's actually unaware of any of this he doesn't even know he's going to get one or anything so it's just going to be a complete surprise to him and i'm going to bring you guys along uh, to see his reaction so let's go inside and go and get him Right, so Marky, do you want a birthday present? Yeah. Would you like one? Yeah. Yeah? Are well, you going to come outside with me now then? And we're going to give you a surprise. Yeah! Alright? Okay, so, come on then. So, right here, Marky. Yes? Yeah. You have to come up here, stand by the door. Alright? Right, it's the other side of that door. But behind you, that means. <laughs> What do you think of it, Marky? It's so good. It's the best. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. It's really Turn around. So just to steer up here, like towards the gate. Steer up here. That's it. Come on, take your foot off the brake. That's it. Now put your foot down on the accelerator. That's it. Go on, keep going. That's it. A bit further. All right, you want to go backwards now? All right, go push your foot down. I'll put it in reverse now. Go on in. Put your foot. Turn the wheel the other way. The other way. That's it, that's it, now go back. Keep going. That's it, keep turning it. That's it. Right. Now turn the wheel the other way. That's it.
Go on, put your foot down. Turn around in the gateway up here. That's it, you can turn around up here. Take your foot off the brake, that's it. All right, turn the wheel the other way then. The other way. That's it, put your foot down a little. That's it. So, what do you think? It took eight months to build from start to finish, and I think it went pretty well myself. I certainly know one thing, and that's the new owner is, uh, is very made up with it. Uh, a little nervous on the start, as you can see, he wasn't going that fast, but as time went on, he got a very much more confident, and uh, I know that uh, that uh, speed will come in due course. Um, hoping to be able to get some uh, better weather, uh, a bit drier, maybe we can go out in some fields and things like that. It's got a lot, of, a lot more power than the other one, um, so it will go a lot faster, uh, but it would be better to go out in a bit more open um, environment. Um, now, you're obviously here, uh, you've made it to the end, so that can only mean one thing, and that is how much did it cost? Well. Well, yeah, um, I've been buying bits for it for the last eight months, and yeah, it mounts up. Uh, now, it's been difficult to quantify exactly because there's some things I've bought, like a packet of screws and a roll of wire, which I didn't um, attribute to the entire go-kart. So uh, I had to sort of uh, make a best guess on certain things, but um, the top 
um, most expensive parts are as follows. Uh, the box section, that's the steel frame, 16mm uh, um, square box, and the battery, both came to the same amount, which was uh, three, oh, sorry, £437, and that works out about $536. Uh, dollars. The uh, the second, well, actually, the going into the battery. Um, now, on my previous builds, actually, I normally uh, use secondhand cells from laptops and uh, old batteries from drills and things like that. Uh, but I didn't have anything like the number. It was a hundred and two cells, uh, 18650 cells, and I actually ended up going for the Samsung 30Q cells. Um, and uh, yeah, they were they were great. They they seem to be pretty good. We've used it a couple of times the cart now, and it's still on 99% battery. So I think it's got a good long life. Uh, the actual batteries uh, are 15 amps each cell, which equates to about 120 amps. Uh, so it's well within. Uh, this thing uses about 30 amps at flat out. So it's it's got a lot of um, potential in the battery. So there's a lot. It's, it's safety margin, if you like. Uh, the next thing on it was the aluminium sheets, uh, all this bit here, they came to £100 along with the electrics. So the electrics is all basically the wiring, the boxes, uh, the connectors, that kind of thing. Um, the next thing, which again was equal, was the motor and the motor controller. Now believe it or not, although it looks new, it isn't, it came second hand from eBay along with 95% of this stuff. Uh, but it was a good deal. It was the, uh, the it all included the foot pedal and the wiring harness. So I really can't complain. 100 quid was good. It's a 1800 watt setup, uh, 48 volt. Uh, the next thing really, uh, it starts to sort of get a bit more granular. So I won't go through every item on here. But the next thing was the paint. Uh, it's two pack paint. So it was base coat. It's actually Tesla blue. Uh, it's, it's the one that Marky saw uh, in, a, in a shop with me once um, with all the paint cans on the, on the wall and he went over and he picked this colour and it's, it was this one so I always remembered that uh, when it came to painting that this was going to be the colour it was going to be. Um, and then basically the rest of it blurs really but it, the bottom line on it uh, with all things in it and, and making a few extra guesses it comes to a grand total of one thousand seven hundred and twenty three pounds that's uh two thousand one hundred dollars or two thousand euros depending on what you, your flavor um was it worth it absolutely and um, yeah I, I i i thoroughly enjoyed it and i i really hope that you guys have too um if you did and if you've got any comments please leave them down below um, maybe give it a thumbs up if you did or give it a thumbs down if it's uh, if it wasn't that very good and give us a reason why I read all your comments and I do really appreciate them so it really leaves me to say thank you very much for watching again and uh, I've got lots of other builds in the pipeline including one that I've actually done uh, but I put on the back burner to finish this go-kart uh, that was actually it's completely different it's actually a wind turbine uh, I decided that uh, we get quite a lot of wind here and I, I wanted to sort of recoup some of that uh, energy and see if I could turn it into into electric so I had a go at building a wind turbine not tested it it's actually sort of semi finished uh, so I hope to be putting a video out on that one fairly soon so if you want to see that please uh, maybe consider subscribing so that's it uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one